Okay, so I got two questions that I want to ask before I get the video started. So the first question is, who was the best video game character, Mario or Sonic? But who had the best games? Enjoy the video! Wop, wop, wop. Hey guys, it's Jazzy right here and I'm back for another video. Now, before I even get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. You should already did that when you clicked on, honey. It's not that hard. Just click the subscribe button and you're done you're, you're part of the jazzy ray gang okay so in the beginning of the video i asked you guys a question two questions my bad um who was the better video game character um is it mario or sonic and who had better games was it mario or sonic i'm going to answer those two questions okay okay to me the better video game character was sonic the hedgehog i was the biggest sonic fan I, up to 2006, I had like, well, maybe not 2006, maybe a little bit later than that. I didn't play Sonic 06, so I want to play it, not because I really want to play it. It's just because I want to see how bad that game really is. My favorite Sonic games was Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I really, really like the adventure games. And the GPA, the GBA games like um, Sonic Battle and uh, Sonic Advance and Sonic, all the Sonic Advances. But Sonic Advance Three was my was my shit. That was my shit. My least favorite Sonic game. I'm gonna have to go with Sonic Riders because like, why the hell did he need a fucking hoverboard? He's the fastest thing alive. And no, I didn't see the movie, but I do want to see the movie because like, I heard it was pretty good. And I was a big fan of the show Sonic X, it's like, eh, but I was a big fan of, like, Sonic, like, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Saturday morning cartoon. And, uh, I even had Sonic Underground for DVD. Like, I found it at a store a long time ago, and I had to buy it because I'd never heard of the show. And I had bought it a long time ago, so I really liked the, the cartoon. Jaleel White is a legend. Urkel. Did I do that? Okay. If you didn't know who Urkel was, Family Matters. But however, who had the better games? As much as I love the Sonic games, I'm going to have to go with Mario. Because Mario had all type of different games. He had the Mario Party. He had uh, Super Mario Brothers. If you want to count um, Donkey Kong, you want to count that. My favorite Mario game of all time, though, is... Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. If I can get my hands on that game, get my hands on the GameCube first, and then get my hands on that game, on that game, I swear to God, like, I will, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll even do gameplays and put them on YouTube because I love the fuck out of that game. I only beat it one time because that game was super duper hard. But I want to play it again because I'm older now. <laughs> but you're probably wondering, Jazzy Ray, what is the point to all this? Like, why are you asking us about video games and video game characters? Well, that's what I want to talk about, okay? Now, I was recommended by a friend of mine to sh to basically make this video because we had a deep, deep spiritual talk last night. And she told me, you definitely should make a video talking about this. So I'm going to do that. And the reason why I brought up video games was because I'm realizing, like, this throughout this whole pandemic and and just people and situations and things like that life is like a big ass video game and I'm not talking about like GTA when you go I'm not talking about that shit how you get influenced by video games I'm not talking about that what I'm talking about is 
just how video games are in general pretty much every video game has like the same premise okay you have the hero okay and you go through adventures and then there's people along the way that will help you and then there's people that will try to stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing and then there's like this big ass boss at the end or at the end of each level and then basically you gotta get through the fucking boss sorry for cursing you gotta get through the boss just so you can you know get to the next level and that's exactly what life this this whole thing when you think about it this is the best way i can explain what i'm going to talk about like i, I can only go off of my experience because that's just that's all i can go off of i can't really speak on anyone else but for me and i'm not trying to be conceited but i do feel like i am one of the chosen ones and i say that because and you can be the chosen one you can be the chosen one and when you think about this life that we're living right now just here on this earth this universe you know when our time comes for us because i don't believe in death i believe in transformation so at that point when you're transforming you're going to another dimension and you gotta do what you gotta do out there we're living this life in this form in this body you know the body that you're in right now you have a mission just like i have a mission just like they have a mission your mission may be to help others by educating people maybe your gift maybe your mission is to help others by exposing things maybe your mission is to spiritual soul calls them bots maybe they're just maybe those people are just made to just get in your way they're just obstacles you're not meant to help them because sometimes any, everybody's goal like when you're the chosen one everybody's mission is to help people or help the world that's why you're sent here you're supposed to help the world some type of way maybe it's through med you know medicine maybe it's through counseling maybe it's just to have a platform and talk about mental health maybe it's through um teaching maybe it's you know maybe it's through makeup i don't know you know maybe it's through empowerment you know maybe you're you're supposed to be like a motivational speaker or something maybe you're here to help the children and that's it you're supposed to or maybe you're here to help animals you're here to help the world some type of way because this world has been damaged and like michael jackson we need to heal the world so for some of us who are the chosen ones and you know if you're the chosen one trust me you have all type of visions and initiations and all of that and as you start to eat right and drink your water and your tea and take your herbs and you you you, you participate you participate in your affirmations with the full moon or when you're on your cycle and things like that you know you get signs whether it's from the universe or from the ancestors but whichever you choose god whoever you 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 put your whoever you believe in which whichever you follow or believe in you know that you're the chosen one because it's pretty much all the same you know however you got some that are not meant to be helped because they're not supposed to they're not made they wasn't sent here for that they were sent here to basically get in your way and you got to figure out how to beat them like for example with with sonic like like what game um i'm gonna use a game sonic adventure 2 battle okay that's the that, yeah, i know i just told y'all i love them adventure game at the end of each stage each freaking stage Sonic did, or Knuckles, or Tails, or Shadow, whoever, they had a boss at the end. There was a boss they had to beat. So, an enemy they had to beat, or even Shadow the Hedgehog. There was, there was, there was some, someone or something that's, that's, that's stopping them from going to the next level. And that's exactly how it is now. Like, for example, I had a very toxic friend last year and i try i put basically all my energy into helping her but what i didn't realize that she was just 
she was just an obstacle that I had to get over, you know? She she was a negative person. She I'm not going to get into her mental health, but she definitely was a negative person because everybody has mental health problems. In fact, I, I do want to do a video talking about that. Everybody has some type of mental health issue because of cycles being created and cycles not being broken. So we all ain't really wrapped too tight. However, if you know that, that's great. But if you don't know it or you just don't want to get help, that's what makes you the negative person because you are so arrogant or you're so angry that you don't want to get the help. You don't want to accept that. People just take and take and take and take and take. I call them vampires because all they do is suck the life out of you. They take and take and take and take and take and take and take until you ain't got nothing left. And then when you ain't got nothing left, you're no use to them anymore. And when you do things from them, oh, you're the you're the greatest person in the world to them. But if you say no and stand up for yourself, or if or, or you generally cannot help them because you have stuff going on, like for real, for real, like gen, like you're genuine with that, they'll get mad. You know, that's don't don't do what I did. I need to turn my phone off. But anyway, it's just that's what it's like. You know, she was just a big boss that I had to defeat. In order, like, like I was going through this phase in life, and I had help along the way, and basically they all told me the same thing, you know. Get rid of the unnecessary baggage. And sometimes the unnecessary baggage is, is the person, not necessarily stuff, okay. And once I got rid of her, my life has ever been better, and I feel like I'm in a new phase in my life. Where I, I mean, I'm wearing makeup and stuff now, but... It's been a while since I've done my makeup. Like, it's been a while. Like, usually when I leave the house now, I don't even put on makeup. I put on makeup tonight because I, I felt good. But, but I don't do it anymore. And then, like, I'm, I'm getting used to the way that I look without it. And it's, it's an amazing thing. I feel like I'm at a point now where, where I really do love myself. I, I still am working on it, but I really do love myself. And that's pretty much the whole point. In order to help the world out, you gotta first get yourself in order. Starting from square one, you know, the day you're born, okay? And and, and you just gotta work, work your way up until it's time for you to check out and be like, you know what, I, I did what I was supposed to do. I accomplished my mission, all the missions, and now I'm able to go on to the next adventure. Meaning the next, the next dimension. Because that's, that's what video games, like if you finish Sonic... The Hedgehog or Sonic Adventure 1 or Sonic Adventure DX, of course you're going to go to the next game, right? Like, that's 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 how that works. You know, I hope I don't sound like I'm all over the place. But I literally told my friend this and she was just like, you you need to make a video. That That's actually a, a, the best way to put, put it. And it's the truth. You know, it is like a, a, a video game. You know, we, we are here and then of course along the way like you meet people that are meant to help you in your journey because either you have similar missions or you have the exact same mission. And you got some people who are just there just to like give you tips or give you, you know how you meet like those side characters that you like on the game and they give you like an item or something to help you and then that's the last time you see the character. So it could be that, you know, that too in real life. You know, and, and that's just how that is, you know. So I hope I didn't sound too confusing. But to me, I came up with this during quarantine. And I'm just like, life is like a, vi a video game. You know, we have a goal. We have missions to complete. We have phases in life that we need to go through. And sometimes, and in most cases, we have this big boss that we got to defeat. Whether it's a situation or a person. And we got to figure out how to get past it so we can get to the next level. And then we take something from that. And what I learned from that person, that particular person, is that you can't help people who don't want help. Or you have to help people who want to help themselves. And that's just, that's just the best way to put it, you know. I think that's all I want to say in this video. I might do a part two um, going deeper into it. But um, be sure to subscribe to the comment subscribe to the con subscribe to the video um like it um let me know how you guys feel do you agree that life is like a video game or and also comment what's your favorite video game of all time my favorite video game of all time is sims you know but 
and yeah answer those two questions at the, at the beginning I, I, I actually want to do like a little healthy debate you know who's better Mario or Sonic I want to know I want to know I see you guys when I see you guys bye that's enough bye <laughs>